YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the interweb for all things geeky and cool. We have another description box we're taking a look at today, guys. This is a sci-fi fan block from March 2017, themed cyborg. That's what this box is all about, cyborg-based stuff. I'm assuming there'll be something Justice League-ish here with the cyborg character. I guess that would be in this box. Um, this box came to me a little bit late. I actually had to go to the post office and pick it up. They left a little slip at my door, so unfortunately, it's coming out a couple days later. I do apologize for that right now. So the other thing I've done so far was take the packaging off this particular box. I got my knife and my scissors here in case I need it for anything. And this box is really, really light, just so everyone will know ahead of time. I was surprised how light this actual box is, so let's actually crack into it and see what we get. So for the very first thing we have, like they always provide, is a shirt. Uh, this looks to be a Nerd Block exclusive shirt here, probably from Shirt Punch. Uh, this one is a black shirt. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> very, very, uh, very, very thematic for this month. Uh, it's Ghost in the Shell. Uh, very, because the new movie just did uh, come out a couple days ago. Um, nice shirt. Uh, I guess they have the symbol for Ghost in the Shell. I guess that was something to do with the with the numbers or the lettering here. So I guess it has something to do with the actual movie itself. Uh, next item we have here is a really cool cup. This was the Justice League item I was thinking about. Um, it's a martini shaker. <laughs> That's nice. They have a martini shaker. That's really cool. I usually don't see something like that inside a uh, subscription box. That's really nice. Uh, next item we have here is in this um, case. It's in a pouch. I'm guessing this is a, all this to go with this. This is a bar mat. Woo! That's really nice. So that's really cool, wow. So they give you a cyborg themed bar mat. That's awesome, wow, that's really cool. That's very, very different. You don't see stuff like that normally. So I'm really happy about that. I put the label back in there. Ooh, so we have a little ID here for uh, Judge Dredd. Little Judge Dredd thing here. I'm not sure exactly what this would be for. I'm assuming this is badge, but I don't know what this really is all about, so we'll keep going. Oh, uh, we have a pin. Ooh, that's a nice pin. Wow. I'll let you guys see this one. This is a really cool pin. This is a Borg Cube. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really nice. I'll get an up close shot of this definitely. That's, I mean, this thing is huge. This is, a, I mean, look how big this cube is. That's a really nice item, wow. And then we have an art print it looks like here. This is a Sci-Fi Fan Blocks print exclusive for the Sci-Fi Fan Block for Medusa Dollmaker. That's what this is. That's really nice looking. Check that out. And on the back, they actually talk about the uh, it's being a special print for Sci-Fi Fan Block. All in all, that was a nice box. Very, very light, but we got a lot of quality out of this particular box. So let's actually see what it was all about. Uh, this was about the invasion of the body hacker, good guy cyborgs. That's what this box was themed around. Uh, back, we always talk about the Valor box, which is the military themed box for Nerd Block. So when we open it up here, uh, they talk about the Megazord, which we saw that in the normal Nerd Block this month. Uh, what's inside this uh, month's fan block? So they have a Borg cube on the front here. So let's actually get into it, see what we have here. There was a total of six items in this box. Uh, there was one item, two items, four exclusives. So the first item they had here was the Cyborg Martini Shaker, which I really like that one. That looks really, really cool. Next, we had the Cyborg Bar Mat, which is kind of, it's kind of, you won't see it really well here in the picture. It's kind of like uh, faded out a little bit. Next, we have the Star Trek Borg Ship Pin on the bottom here, which looks really nice. Uh, then we have the Wild West vs. the Future art print, which is what this was here. Again, another exclusive. And then we have the Judge Jed Travel Pass. That's what this thing here is, is a travel pass. Um, it's, I guess you would put your bank cards inside of it. Oh, so it's, it's like a mini wallet. This is what this is. It's kind of like a mini wallet. Okay, that makes sense right there. I kind of got a little confused from it. And then you have the Ghost in the Shell uh, t-shirt, which is, of course, we saw that at the bottom. Uh, nice box. Very, very unique items in this particular month's box. Uh, they actually really worked off the idea of Cyborg. I really thought that was really cool. I don't know why this was in there, because um, it didn't have really a, a Cyborg theme. Let's actually take a look at that art print, see if it has... Um, I guess that... 
Uh, it says for the Wild West versus the future art print. In the future, extravagant vacations and theme parks take a totally different meaning, and you'll be left wondering whether robots and more lifelike than or, or robots are more lifelike than humans. On a scale of one to cyborg, how in touch with emotions and empathy are you? So I'm guessing maybe this is there's more to this than they really talked about. And the next month's theme <laughs> is really cool: is kicking it old school. So that's what the theme for next month's box is. Uh, horror block for April is going to be four to six exclusive horrifying collectibles, in case anybody wanted to know. And of course, they talk about the good guy cyborgs, which is what we saw that at the end of last month's box. Uh, they still talk about the uh, premium face lift to all the nerd block based themed boxes. And I do think this was a really good box. Um, again, not a whole lot of items in this box. I mean, we had what six items, I believe we were talking about. We, I think, I think I said six. Yeah, six items. But again. And this box had a lot of quality. Um, how many times do you see a martini shaker inside a subscription box? Not many times. How many times do you see a bar mat inside a subscription box? Again, not many times. A massive, a huge pin. I love that pin. Ghost in the Shell shirt, I guess you can see that because of all the big hype for the new movie. So, um, the, and the Judge Red thing, to me, this wasn't that great all in all. But beside that, and then maybe even the art print was a throwaway. So, I mean, if you take these two items away, even removing these two pieces, you still have a huge amount of quality here. Um, I would say this box was probably between 40 and 50 bucks easy, but a Definitely another great box. I guys hope you like this particular uh, unboxing video. Remember to click that like button. Always click the subscribe button at the bottom of the page here. And you can click windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care guys, I'll see you next video. And bye bye.